minced mutton balls. For the ingredients, you need minced mutton 300 grams, oil to fry and salt to taste. Wash the mutton mince and drain them well. Take a pan and cook the mutton mince. Allow the water to evaporate. Powder you will need 4 tablespoons of fried Bengal gram dal, 2 dry chilies, 1 tablespoon of black peppercorns, and 1 tablespoon of fennel seeds. Paste you will need 15 to 16 onion shallots, 15 to 16 garlic pots, 2 green chilies, 4 to 5 strips of coconut, curry leaves 1 tablespoon, 1 inch ginger, and 1 tablespoon of coriander leaves. Spices for the powder are 1 tablespoon of poppy seeds, 1 tablespoon of coriander seeds, 1 cardamom, 7 to 8 cloves and 2 sticks of cinnamon. Now that all the water is getting evaporated slowly, add 1 teaspoon of turmeric to it and then cook till it is dry. The water has evaporated and the minced mutton is cooked and it is dry. Now let us allow this to cool before we grind it. While the minced mutton is getting cooled, let us make the paste and the powder ready. Once the minced mutton is cool, grind it to a coarse paste. Just run it once in the mixer. Now all the ingredients are ground and are ready to be combined. Take a big bowl and transfer the minced mutton coarsely ground paste to it. Add the wet paste also to it. Now there is an option. You can also chop these wet ingredients instead of making it as a coarse paste. But then if you do it this way, it will not get separated in the oil while you fry. Add the powdered ingredients. Wow, there is a beautiful aroma of the spices here. The salt as per your taste and then combine all these well. You can add about a tablespoon of oil so that while you make balls it does not stick to your palms. Perfect. The mixture is ready. Now just add a tablespoon of oil in it and then start making small balls. Make all the balls ready and then fry them in medium heat. Check the temperature. The oil has to be medium hot. Now fry the balls one by one to golden brown. Wow, the balls are well cooked and they are golden brown. Now you can either serve them as a snack for tea or coffee or maybe you can even add it in the gravy if you like. <laughs>